So, when somebody gets colorectal cancer, what are the symptoms they get? Do people know what the symptoms are of, of bowel cancer? Symptoms of bowel cancer? Bleeding. Rectal bleeding, yeah. Change of bowel habit. Yeah, change of bowel habit, yes. Constipation, mm -hmm. or, and, but even more uh, important is the is stool becoming looser. And if you have alternating constipation and loose stool, that's uh, again a symptom. Any other symptoms? Lump Sorry? Lump Lumps uh, yeah. is, is a very unusual for someone to notice colorectal cancer. It's possible uh, as a lump. In, in breast cancer, of course, that's different because that's the primary symptom in breast cancer. But to actually, you really have to have quite a big uh, cancer in your tummy before you can actually feel it. And it's likely you've had other symptoms before that. But it is possible, and occasionally, People will present uh, with a lump. Yeah, 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 yeah. Any other thing? Decrease in appetite. Um, yeah, probably, but that would be a, a very a, at a very advanced stage. Yes, and of course, weight loss at an advanced stage. Anything else? Tiredness. Tiredness. Yeah. Yes. And why? Do you know why you'd be tired with bowel cancer? Anemic. Anemic. Yeah, yeah. because these Losing cancers blood. tend to bleed, so you can lose blood and you become anemic. That's right. Yeah, anything else? You mentioned pain, didn't you say? Tummy pain, yes, yeah, so tummy pain. Now, if you think about it, the problem with these symptoms is that they are symptoms that most people get sometime in their life. We've got pretty good evidence that 80% of the population get rectal bleeding from time to time. Uh, everybody gets tummy pain, everybody gets a bit of constipation and diarrhea, and, uh, you know, the, the problem is when a doctor is faced with somebody with these symptoms, they think these could be the symptoms of colorectal cancer, but they are so common, they are so common that it's very difficult to actually sort out what is just you know, a normal variation and what is actually being caused by colorectal cancer. And the other thing is that if you present with change in bowel habit and abdominal pain and weight loss, you've usually got a very advanced tumour. So in fact, if we rely on picking up symptoms, then we will not, and we now know this for certain, we will not increase uh, our diagnosis of early uh, bowel cancer. In England, uh, there, was a, uh, there has recently been a, a campaign for the early detection of cancers which emphasised symptoms and persuaded people with symptoms to come to their doctors. And it was very effective in increasing the number of people that went to the GPs. It was very effective at increasing the number of colonoscopies that were carried out. It had no effect whatsoever on the number of cancers that were diagnosed, and it had no effect on the stage at which the cancers were diagnosed. So the evidence now that's relying on symptoms to detect colorectal cancer early is, uh, is, is, is just not uh, the way to go. It just it won't work. Uh, and for the reasons that I've outlined. So what can we do? Well, we've got to go to look. If we're going to detect colorectal cancer early, we have to go and look for it. And of course, looking for it, we need to engage with the people who are likely to get it. And this is where we come to screening. Okay, um, does it? Yeah? Because we, um, polyps things like bleed yeah. and people nowadays will get an operation to have perhaps the polyp removed. Yeah. In doing so, surely the, um, the surgeon would see possibility of these polyps or related adenomas at the same time and think, ah oh, yes, well this is possibly a precursor and get in that way. So that in that sense, <coughs> would just uh, identification say from rectal bleeding, which is associated with polyps, be one way of picking up. Yeah, I mean the problem I mean, is that, that only only pretty advanced polyps bleed. Right. And uh, it's um, I think relying purely on the physical symptom of bleeding is not sufficient. Right. Okay. It's very important if somebody comes with rectal bleeding to investigate it, and there's no question yeah. about that. But to rely on that purely as a, a method of early detection. Is uh, is, um, is is not.